I regard that as a significant underestimate. Uh, it might cost only two, about $2 trillion uh, to um, replace the hydrocarbons that are currently being used for power generation. Uh, but, it, but if you go even farther and, and you um, seek to electrify the entire economy, then you're dealing with a, a much larger uh, task. Um, one of the examples that I used during the course of my remarks in the conference was um, uh, to try to illustrate the amount of additional generation capacity that would be required if all of the uh, light duty vehicles in Canada, that, that's cars, uh, SUVs and pickup trucks, were electrified and th that electrification um, were met from the um, re renewable energy uh, sources. The, uh, the current estimate of, of the cost uh, of, of doing that, uh, well, put, let's not put it in terms of dollars, but let's put it somewhere more, in more understandable terms, which is in terms of the number of, of generation projects. You would need an additional 10,000 megawatts of generation capacity. And currently in Canada, um, there are two very large hydroelectric projects that are under construction. One is the Site C Dam in British Columbia. The other is the Muskrat Falls Dam, which is in Labrador. The total generation capacity of those two projects is about 1,944 megawatts, uh, well below the 10,000 megawatts in additional capacity that would be required. So basically what that means is you'd need eight more plants of the same size in order to meet the additional power requirements that would result simply from having to power all of the electric vehicles. But right now, none of those types of projects are even being conceived of, let alone developed. And if they did, if they were, it would take at least 20 years to bring them from the conceptual stage to actual implementation. What that means is, is that it simply is not feasible within the, the time frame to 2050 to develop the additional generation capacity in Canada that would be needed just to deal with the electrification of light duty vehicles in transport. And that does include any of the other um, sec sectors, excuse me, sections of the economy being electrified. The International Energy Agency in 2021 did a major uh, study in which it attempted to look at the needs that would be uh, for minerals and mater other materials that would be required. Um, and I'm not sure that the, the figures will come immediately to my mind, but the graphite um, and um, uh, lithium uh, and cobalt and rare earth minerals are the main materials requirements that uh, must be met in order to um, produce the batteries which are at, at the, the heart of much of the decarbonization objective. And um, the numbers that, are, that are, were cited by the International Energy Agency are range from seven times what is currently available in the world today to 42 times what is currently available in the world today. Um, and the same problem applies in the case of, achieve, of achieving additional materials as does in the case of achieving additional generation. Uh, to, from the point at which a, um, a, a mine it, is proven to be commercially viable to the time at which it enters production is at least 16 years. So if you d decided to build a mine to supply some of these minerals that are required uh, by the uh, by battery uh, construction, and you were going to do that today, it would take you to about 2038 before that mine would, would enter into production.